Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Hello. This is such an exciting video. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a bonus video. We thought we would get this filmed because we couldn't wait to share with you our news. Um, of course you'll see it in our Disneyland Paris vlog series which is starting in January but something very exciting happened on this trip. <laughs> yeah well just to explain we've been off to Disneyland Paris. It was a trip that I arranged for Helena's birthday and I actually arranged it for another purpose. There was something else that I wanted to do. I wanted to propose. So I did that in Disneyland Paris. And so we are engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> and instead of waiting until you see it in the vlogs, we wanted to do this video. So we just explain yeah. how it happened. A bit of a story time. I know a few people have been like, can we hear what happened? We don't want to wait until uh, the vlogs. So yeah, we really wanted to share with you. And also because you were so lovely on our engagement photo oh. on Instagram and uh, Twitter and Facebook and everything. We, we were so overwhelmed. We couldn't with believe love. it. Like, yeah, thank it you so, so much. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And today we're celebrating. Oh yeah. With a cup of tea. <laughs> and a Disneyland shortbread cookie dipped in chocolate mm. in the shape of Mickey. Martin made these last night, didn't you? Yeah, 20 of them. <laughs> so you got a lot to get through. <laughs> and I've uh, recorded a video on how to make these as well. An official Disneyland recipe. Oh, in this video, you're also getting a little sneak peek of uh, some of our haul. I mean, I'm sporting our the spirit jersey and a, and a new mug. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm spirit yeah. jersey in the new mug, but we're going we're spoiler. going off topic yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, sorry. We should, <laughs> it's we not what the video's about. <laughs> get into it. People are like, what happened? <laughs> uh, well, where do we start? We haven't really planned what we're going to do with this video, so we haven't really. How do you how do you want to go about it? Uh, well, you're going to have to tell because I was completely unaware <laughs> until the proposal happened. So, so should I go you can back? start the story. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've wanted to propose for quite a while, and I had in mind that I wanted to do it at a Disney park and so <laughs> when did we get back from Orlando? It was like the start of July. Yeah so we went to Toy Story Land was it on 31st or something? Yeah, end of June, yeah. And then we were back on the 1st. On the 2nd of July I got in touch with Magic Breaks, a person called Anna Gilmore and I told her that I was planning to propose to Helena oh. and this Anna helped me plan the perfect trip but quick side note from me, I was so shocked when Martin um, gave me the gift of this uh, trip for my birthday because obviously we'd been to Disneyland Paris in January um, and then we'd literally just come back from Disney World. So I was feeling like the luckiest girl already because I've been to Disney twice. And yeah, when you surprised me, <laughs> I was like a bit like, what is this real life? Well, going back to that, bearing in mind the outcome of what I was going to do, of wanting to propose, I, I was saying to Helena that I've got you something for your birthday. We were in Bath? We were, weren't we? Yeah, we were in Bath. We were in a restaurant on the, the waterfront oh, yeah. and I was about to tell Helena that I'd got her this present and Helena went, you're not proposing, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> in the I middle did. of this restaurant. <laughs> I was like, no, not yet. In my head, anyway. Yeah, you didn't say not no. yet. <laughs> anyway, sorry, carry on. Um, yeah, no, that's it really. I was just really um, overwhelmed that um, he had booked me this such special trip. And now, like, it kind of makes a bit more, like, sense because, yeah, you had obviously been planning it for such a long time. Anyway, carry on. And then I went away to work on the cruise ship. And so throughout that entire time, I, I knew that I was going to be doing it. So I was trying in my head to concoct some sort of plan on how I would. I knew that I had the trip, but instead of sort of, instead of really narrowing it down and, and, and thinking about how I was going to do it, I sort of thought in my mind, well, I think the perfect moment will just spontaneously happen. <laughs> so that's the sort of approach that I took. So I got back from the cruise ship and I got my mum involved mm -hmm. and she, I was looking at the rings and then sending the rings over to my mum. Uh, the pictures of them and then she was sort of letting me know which ones that she thought were really nice also my grandma who if you've watched the disney world vlogs i dedicated one of the vlogs to because during that 
vlog that day I found out that she'd uh, passed away she left me some money and I used that money to get the ring for Helena so that was really special as mm -hmm. well so then I had the ring and then yeah just went off to Disneyland Paris there was a few different ideas so I was just That's carrying this ring thinking of, <laughs> just thinking that you had that ring in your bag the whole time is crazy I, I'm surprised you weren't a bit nervous that I was gonna like look in your bag or go to get something no well I've got my best mate Bobby he did slightly freak me out because he was telling me a story of his brother and how he was going to propose to his girlfriend and they went on a holiday and she found it. Yeah, I've known, <laughs> I've known a few people as well that have found, found their rings. But I was... The, so I took the ring first of all in a suitcase, but it wasn't just in the suitcase because this was a suitcase we were both using for like electrical items. In the bottom <laughs> of the suitcase, there's a zip that takes you to like the the base of the mm. of the case where all the stuff's holding it together so i i put the ring the box <laughs> under there and then zipped it back up that's quite good to be fair i wouldn't have looked in there and then i left it in the i left it in the suitcase on top of that shelf in hotel cheyenne for i think the first the first night yeah and then from the second day i had it in my planet hollywood Crazy. bag the entire time <laughs> That is crazy. <laughs> and then I was just walking around. So what I was basically doing, I was just scouting for locations and scouting for... Where would be the perfect place. Yeah, for scenarios. So there was one time where I would, we'd go back to the the room and then I'd say, oh, I just need to go and get something from the car. And I'd go, <laughs> I'd go out, but I wouldn't actually go to the car. I'd walk around Hotel <laughs> Cheyenne <laughs> and think of where I could possibly... Uh, propose. There was this one time he said he was just popping to the car and he was about a good 20 minutes and I was thinking, it doesn't take that long to go to the car and then you text me being like, oh I got sidetracked looking for um, good photos, like good Instagram <laughs> good Instagram spots or I something. was taking photos though to, as <laughs> oh, like a cover story Yeah. <laughs> so if you said what photos did you get, I was taking photos. Oh, okay. But then those photos were like of places I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> so then I I decided what day it was going to be. It was going to be the day when we went to Chez Remy because I thought that would be a really special uh, dinner. And then That also, was such a beautiful night. Yeah. And a side note, like, well, I really enjoyed Chez Remy and it was so magical and romantic and, yeah. Why don't perfect. you take over from this point? So of a point where you don't know what's happening. Okay. Talk us through the And evening. then you can talk through yeah. what you were thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we ate at Chez Remy, it was beautiful, we had such a nice evening, um, it was actually quite quiet, I, I worried that the restaurant would be like really busy, um, but it was really quiet, um, the food was beautiful, um, the guy we met, Will, he told us to ask the chef to sign our napkin yeah it was a napkin yeah and yeah i won't tell you what happens but if you are if you do do that at chez remy uh, then you get a little souvenir to take home but that was really nice it was really special we took some photos we came out with chez remy and it was beautiful it was all lit up and um, it was only us really in the parks because the park had already closed and it was only the people that were dining at the restaurant that were in the park so it was really quiet really romantic they were running through the christmas show on the yeah, tower of terror we saw the start of the christmas show um it was just one of those really magical disney nights and then we headed over to disneyland park because we wanted to catch the fireworks because it was our last night in the park um so that was magical as well we went to our little spot if you remember from our first disney world vlogs underneath the um What's it called? Oh yeah. The wait time board. Yeah, behind the board near Discovery Land that tells you the wait times. So we went under there, we watched some of the fireworks. Um, we then walked down Main Street and we watched the end of the fireworks and it was just it was just magical. And then we left. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just so I'll just intervene there because my thinking started to change again because I thought, oh yeah, I could do it outside of Disneyland uh, hotel. So I was starting to think that in my head. And we were, from where we were watching the fireworks, it would mean that once the fireworks had finished, if we were still behind that board, we'd wait for everybody to go and then it would be quiet when we went out. But then Helena said, oh, I, oh, why I don't it. we go and stand at the back so then we can be the one first. of the first ones out because we were going to go and watch the bonfire. Yes. Well, I couldn't say no. 
So. Yeah. Oh no, I ruined that plan. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let's quickly, because it was nearing the end of the fireworks. I was like, let's quickly head down to the front of Main Street so that we can get out first, so that we can head to Disney Village. Um, so that's what we did. And then, so the five bits ended, we left the park and we were walking along and then Martin was like, oh, I want to go over to where the fountains are. And if you know Disneyland Paris, you know it's beautiful, the entrance to Disneyland Hotel. You've got Disneyland Hotel and then in front you've got all these beautiful fountains and at night they're all lit up different colours and then they play kind of um, piano and jazz versions of Disney songs. It's really, yeah, it's really like romantic. Versions. It's lovely. So we walked up to where the fountains were and Martin, I think Martin took a few photos, but thinking about it now, you were probably like sussing out the situation and yeah, like, buying a bit of time. <laughs> yeah. And then we carried on walking round to, as you come down the stairs, you can either go left or right down the stairs. And this is quite a special place for us because every time we go to Disneyland Paris, we always stop at that point and look out and think, oh, like it's our favourite place. Um, it's so beautiful. We just like to get photos. And it's that moment where I feel like, oh, like I'm at, I'm at Disneyland. Mm. It's that kind of that reality that hits you that Disneyland's in front of you. So we stopped there. We took a photo, actually, which I'll insert now. We took two photos, didn't we? One of you and one of me. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We'll insert them now. Yeah. So that was the spot, and that was right before the proposal. Um, and then Can You Feel the Love Tonight came on. Well, it was playing as we left. Oh, was it? It was playing as we walked it, out, so it. I was starting to panic that it was going to finish. Uh, and the reason that it's special is because it's Helena's mum's favourite Disney song. It's, yeah, my mum's favourite Disney song, or di one of her favourite songs. Um, and ever since a child, she's always loved that song, always played that song. When I came out and that song was playing, that's when I went, right. This is it. I think this is it. And uh, we'd taken those photos and then I think I went in for a hug and then you said it's so special. And I went, oh, well, I'm glad it's been special because there's something I would like to ask you. By this point, you still didn't understand what I was doing. No, I thought <laughs> loads of things went through my head. It was weird because I've always known that we were going to get married because um, we've spoken about it and we just know that we want to spend the rest of our lives together. So I always thought, I always knew we were going to get married. But in that moment, I didn't think he was going to do it that night at all which is so... you said I was rather calm you were so calm and I I always thought that I'd be able to tell when he was going to propose because when you know someone so well you could always tell when they're a bit nervous so like I just always thought oh I'll be able to tell the night he's going to propose because he'll be a bit shifty and I'll just I'll know I'll know shifty <laughs> shifty is the wrong word <laughs> like um... oh I'm spilling my tea <laughs> like nervous I don't know I just always thought I'll be able to tell but I didn't I didn't have one inkling that he was going to do it then so it was yeah and then yeah very nice shock <laughs> and then that's the the moment that it happened uh, I got down on one knee and Helena Louise so the full name was brought out <laughs> <Was it? laughs> yeah I, I said more than what I'm saying now but I, I like to keep it a little bit private and, uh, it was so beautiful. Just Your said, speech was um, really special. Will you marry me? And then the reaction I got was, <laughs> was no, no, you're kidding, aren't you? <laughs> I actually said that before you got down on one knee, but as you were leading up to it, and I was like, oh my god, this actually happens. I actually have it. <laughs> this is a joke, yeah. It's a joke, right? I was like, no. You're being serious. I was like, yeah, I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> I was so shocked. And then, uh, yeah, you said yes. I said yes. Of course I said yes. Of course. And then we spent... Oh, we spent about half an hour, I think. We we walked... So we wanted to get in touch with family members. We couldn't get the internet where we were stood. <laughs> no. So we walked back towards the park and stood right next to Disneyland Hotel and then we spent the next half an hour just ringing family. Yeah. Oh, it's so special. My mum didn't pick up her phone, first of all. Because my, my dad knew... <laughs> Um, oh yeah, Martin I asked. My dad. I wanted to be traditional in that yeah. way. Um, so he knew, and he was actually getting a bit worried because this was right near the end of our holiday, and he was like, "Hmm, they haven't called yet. Uh, I hope everything's okay." <laughs> um, so he was very happy when I rang, and then my mum didn't know, so she was ecstatic. She's already planning 
the wedding, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it was a really special night and it was absolutely perfect. And like, I literally wouldn't change a thing. I'm just, yeah. I'll, we'll, we'll insert the um, picture. Yeah, took, so this is the afterwards. picture that we took. Uh, this was right after. And people have been asking, is there video footage of the proposal? There's not, because in that moment, I wanted it just to be me and Helena. And we were in such a bubble and it did feel, yeah. even though there was loads of people walking past on the other row that was going past us, it just felt like it was just the two of us. It, it was did. so special. But there is footage from before the lead up and then there's footage of after. Yeah. Which it's weird. It's kind of like that moment where like time stands still. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's like rare moments in life where time always feels so fast, um, day in, day out. And then those rare moments where like it just feels like it stands still and you just feel like you're that memory you'll remember forever like yeah, and then special. we went into disney village and we saw the bonfire yeah so the fireworks i got a mood why <laughs> yeah and then we uh yeah watched the fireworks in disney village which was really special i was like martin did you plan this <laughs> <laughs> it needs a fireworks you put on for me <laughs> and then back to hotel shine and we had a bottle of champagne. We, we did have a bottle of champagne, but we had to be up really early for our Paris day the next the next day. Yeah, so I, I was like, oh no, I don't want to hang over. Just <laughs> if you're going to be watching the Disneyland Paris vlogs, I think I was a bit tipsy and I record the outro to oh, do that you? video. I don't remember. And that. I think I'm sort of <laughs> trying really hard to not mess up my words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's such a special night, um, and. We're engaged. <laughs> and we got a lot of planning to do. we got a lot of planning to do. We don't know when it's going to be yet. No, I mean... don't know I how mean, long the engagement's going to be. No, I um, it's definitely going to be longer than a year. Um, just because we've got a lot of planning to do. I've also got a lot of saving to do. <laughs> <laughs> it probably won't be a Disney wedding, as in all Disney, but we will definitely have little... Hints. Hints of yeah. Disney along yeah. the way, because... It's us. Yeah. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> Exciting adventure ahead. It certainly is. So yeah, we just wanted to do this video, let you know that that had happened, how it happened, and then prepare you a little bit for what you're going to be seeing in the vlogs when yeah. they start in the new year. Really excited about these Disneyland Paris vlogs. We had, I mean, it was like our favourite trip um, for obvious reasons, yeah. but then also as a trip on its own, it was just so good. We did so much and... We filmed a lot. We, we see did. Disneyland go from Halloween yeah. to Christmas. They're really special vlogs, so I hope you're looking forward to it. And I hope you enjoy the last um, few Disney World vlogs, because they're coming up yeah. over the next few weeks. And thank you so much for your support. Thanks so much for your support and all your love. Um, I'll never get over that day with all your messages. Um, it was, yeah, it was really special. So thank you so, so, so much. <laughs> and thank you for watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.